Greetings, adventurers, and welcome to the Adventure Incorporated podcast. I am your dungeon master, Anthony Reed. This is episode 253. It is the third episode of the Shadow Falls story arc. And as you might imagine, things are moving. If you are not following us on social media, let me give you the heads up now. Adventure March is coming and it is going to be huge this year. We have every Thursday night at 8 p.m. blocked out for twitch.tv slash srsbiz underscore network where we will be doing all kinds of fun stuff. We have live shows planned. We have tavern night planned. We have um, the Q&A planned. There's all kinds of great stuff. That Q&A is going to be right after uh, the finale airs. We will do that that week. We'll do a Q&A um, that will show up on this feed. So if you miss it, that's all right. We're going to put it up on here. But overall, I think that uh, you don't want to miss the Adventure March festivities. We are also going to do a live listening party to the finale episode Sunday night right before it drops uh, on that same Twitch. So you can head over there, hang out with us, and listen to the finale uh, as a big group. It's going to be a ton of fun. What else do I have going on? Uh, Oh, prizes! Of course there will be prizes and contests and all kinds of fun things for Adventure March, so do not miss it. Also, big shout out, thank you, heartfelt love and appreciation for our patrons at patreon.com slash adventuring people who love the show and they want to give back to the show they want to support the show and that is the way that they do it and they do so much for us and we really 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 appreciate them if you've not been a patron before now is going to be the time uh april 1st i will be switching over a bunch of the tiers we'll be refreshing what things are going on over there it's going to look a little bit different but it's all uh, fundamentally going to be the same if you go over there and you support the show we'll try to get you some bonus stuff to say thank you but mostly you get to help us do more things and help make the show grow and we are so appreciative of everyone who jumps over there at patreon.com slash adventuring and, and makes that happen it's it's just the best all right let's get started Nobles and farmers, knights and scoundrels, gather round, gather round to hear a tale of excitement and mystery. Brave adventurers facing grave dangers. Keth the monk. Uh, on a lighter subject, uh, how's the, the, the whole corruption of the Iora Church going? On a lighter subject? Yeah. <laughs> Gebetto the rogue. We're basically family. So do you want to admit to your family that all you want to do is learn how to read so that you can read pornos? (laughs) Genevera, the sorcerer. Oh my god, guys, it worked. The plan worked. High five. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. We Um, should have a plan more often. Asher, the druid barbarian. With my nipples? Why are are my nipples not convincing? Prepare yourselves, for this is the tale of Adventure Incorporated. Uh, After three days of uh, spending time in this place, uh, early on, on the third day, the portals begin. uh, Caleb comes through one of the portal that he has prepared. Uh, He's clearly, like really working out a bunch of the things today is supposed to be the day of the meeting and indeed it is not long before many people start to come through uh the the portal way that he has created um in general this is just like a a drawing like he's he's etched out some uh, space in the stone and people just come through the stone in a flash of green uh there's not like an open portal just here uh but they come through and caleb is able to then also activate it to send someone to specific places uh that these are tied to which is currently each of the kingdom's capitals uh, are tied to this location um so he can send people back to any of the various uh kingdoms uh the first to arrive is haramon uh who comes through uh, she is uh, dressed in a long red, like bright red dress uh, with sparkling sequins. 
uh, and she comes through and sits, uh, waiting for things to begin. She just nods to the four of you. Um, can I get you a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea, yes. And Gibetto pours her a cup uh, from the from the teapot in front of him uh, and slides it over to her. Uh, Your Majesty, there's something that I wanted to just before we settle in. I just we kind of created a fake uh, a cult that was said was stationed and sanctioned for, by you. I don't know if there's been any blowback from that. I really hope there hasn't been. Uh, but it. She looks at you with a like half amused. Uh, but her eyes are very hard when she says, uh, who did you tell about this cult? <sighs> like a lot of people in, I mean, they were all in Emberfall. Yeah. In, in Emberfall. Yeah, that's true. But they prob, but yeah, a lot of people, but it, but, but, but the plan worked and, uh, we, 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 we did good things with it. Does this um, new king that they have believe in this cult? No. No, 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 no. No, he was in- I hope not. Mm-hmm. He no- he knows it was a bit. Well, then I think we uh, we have no problem then, no? Well, we'll see, I suppose, right? Right, right, y'all? <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> you... I want to tell you all that I am very sorry to hear that your plan... Did not come to fruition. Well, I mean, Herrix is still asleep. It's technically a win. That is true. That is true. Gibetto raises his teacup and takes a sip. The creatures of Shadow found their way to my realm as well of course but it was it has proven to be a difficult place for them to find purchase oh because everything's still crystal there are no people that is certainly a help i've heard from reports from other kingdoms that there are some who seek to transform those who uh fall are the, the people and create new beings of shadow from it my people are not susceptible to such as they currently are. But more importantly, it seems that uh, the creatures of fire that have found home where my kingdom now lies also do not seem to be susceptible to the same way that the shadow is. That's good to know. Huh. That is good to know. I have been blessedly uh, un unfazed by these revelations of the last few days. Well, but I am honestly, lending you've my been strength. So phased in the last couple of months that I think it kind of feels fair that the last couple of days have been okay for you. I also have very little by way of resources to give but I am willing to help out how I can in what is to come. Thank you. Thank you. There have already been rumblings since the death of our High King about who will take her place. As things are happening so quickly and so much now needs to be addressed on a such a large scale, it has seemed prudent that someone take that level of responsibility and coordination. I mean, I hadn't even thought that we would have, since the the purpose of creating a high king position was simply to fuel the weapon, I hadn't thought about replacing someone on that seat. Had you guys? No. No. No, I thought that was part of the whole... If you swear fealty, then it's just for, like... Temporary, uh, yeah fortnight or whatever there is one thing we have learned time and time again when we (coughs) when we ask people to accept something we work hard to make it happen once it happens 
to many it is steadfast, and it is easier sometimes to continue in the direction you are going than to change course again. There is a need now for these kingdoms to be whole. There is a need for us to work together to help you and to help protect this world from the shadow that is coming, from the shadow that is here. Yeah. And that need necessitates someone to take that role, someone to be that voice, the binding. Yep. Maybe, maybe that could actually help. Uh, we'd, you know, it, it helped us with Gorm, and but maybe we could change the purpose of this High King and give it, give them a new. But can we deadly, change the purpose? Deadly of the purpose. Weapon? Yeah, what that weapon? sounds like y'all's problem, though. Like, yeah, mm. that's oh. politics, baby. Uh, I do not wish to uh, lead you to believe that uh, this this has happened in your absence. Already, this has this process has begun, oh, and uh, though no one has claimed the the throne, I do believe that there are some who have tried to vie for it already. And I would not be surprised if we walk away from today with a more clear picture of how that looks going forward. Ugh. This, this feels <laughs> yeah. like a callous thing. I feel like callous is doing something. I don't honestly care. Uh, okay. Once the, once the shadows, like, I don't, y'all's leadership. Yeah. Unimportant. Because uh, if we don't beat the shadow, uh, there's not going to be anybody to rule over anyway. So, and that is the other reason. That. that is the other reason why this has come. There are things that we could do to support you if we all can be on the same page. And I think that a high king is a good idea to make sure that none see opportunity in keeping back their their support. All right, hear me out. We have four high kings. It's the four of us. Since you all put everything on us anyway, which is a mantle we have accepted and are working towards, we're just the high kings. And it's like, a you know the traveling play Narnia, how they have four, four high kings? It's like that, <laughs> and we do it. And when we eventually die, then you can figure it out on your own for once. Jibeto puts She's... his tea down and picks up an ale immediately uh, and does not put the ale down until it's empty. She uh, she smirks at you and she says, uh, Child, I am sorry to say, but I think your time as king has passed. Uh, as again, this has already... Well, this felt unnecessarily cruel. Like, I know that like, I, I understand. You weren't, even, you weren't even around for that. You were in, in, a, in, a, in a gin's head. But... I, I have heard many things from that time. That sounds fine and fair. I'm sure Callus has said a lot about it. Um, the point is that... You better My have point. one of those? <laughs> I, I, I think like we just kind of don't give a franc because who cares? Like We, we have... Again, I, uh, I do not mean to be rude about Asher, this. Asher, did you just make up you. a word? Yeah. It felt right to say. Are you trying something new? I'm, try I'm trying to invent words. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. I've been really bored for the past three days. I just really... And now we have to go to a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> this process has started without you, and it will end without you. Uh, do not get me wrong. The influence that you wield, you could make... A a move in this if you were so inclined you could push the scale one way or another undoubtedly with some of the people with whom this decision is important but uh, we have moved to make these moves without you you are not you are not needed for this I just oh, am feels... confused at where we're needed and where we're not if we're not <laughs> needed for this then 
This feels like a you and the other king's conversation and you come to a decision and then you just let us yeah. know who it is. Uh, what she means to say, uh, your majesty, <laughs> is that we appreciate your spreading the news to us. Uh, and thank you so much for keeping us in- informed. Uh, and also that ale isn't going to cut it. Uh, and Gebetto goes into the kitchen. Uh, as he's leaving, you just hear cactus juice. Oh, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm so happy to have you here, King Harriman. <laughs> she leaves and goes find Gebetto. It is nice to see you, Harriman, though. I uh, thought about what you said f- f- how many ever years ago to keep the dark elf half of me close and that's the part I should follow and it's kind of helped so it's nice to see you and not inside of a djinn's head in many ways you and I are some of the last of our people who still interact with this world I'm the last of two types of people that's fun not the last some of the last okay there are there are others but but i fear that my kingdom and our people will have they sleep now at a critical time a time where they are protected but at a time where their influence will wane mm-hmm. on this world without the opportunity to make changes in this world to be a part of things like this that are so large there will be ramifications yeah well I'm glad you're here to guide us because you're real fair with your points and sometimes some of the other kings are real not they're just very much about themselves I feel like when you say something, I know you mean it. It's it's nice. The portal flashes and Callus walks in through the portal. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as she walks by, she nods to Harriman. She says, your majesty. And then she looks up at you and she says, this will be a formal meeting. You may want to get dressed. I'm uh, and she strolls dressed, to the Callus. other end. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but like. I'm she, kind of a big she shot, was like, and so I need you to like take wherever you are and just kind of throw it out into the shadowy darkness outside. Thanks. Is she out, out of the room by now? <laughs> she, she, yeah. I mean, she just strolls by to the other end of the table. I feel table. like if she stayed uh, here, that would just have been ignoring a really good completely. Burn. Yeah, no, I, she, she was definitely talking to you, uh, Asher, not not me. So yeah, no. but it was a it would have been a good burn. You sure? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then. He, Kept, uh, says, to, says to Haramon, uh, uh may the flame keep you. And then he just he follows Callus uh, <laughs> into the other room. <laughs> uh, so after uh, uh, Genevera and uh, Gibetto have a couple of cactus shots <laughs> and make their way <laughs> back Let's go into to a meeting. What's up, King Callus? <laughs> So happy that you're here. So good to see you. She gives her a hug. (laughs) (laughs) Callus looks supremely uncomfortable. Uh, She says, yes, well, um," she like pushes you (laughs) off. Uh, She's, yes, well, it is a thing to see you as well. Uh, Hey. Hey, King Callus. <laughs> Good one, Gemetto. <laughs> How's organized crime? Is it down in the city? <laughs> uh, she does not rise to your bait. She <laughs> says nothing. <laughs> she just stares ahead. Uh... You're welcome. <laughs> she, she still says nothing. Uh, the portal flashes uh, and Clyde comes in. Oh, no. Uh, he moves down toward that end and uh he just sits he's like don't uh don't worry about it callus don't let uh don't let Gibetto bug you he used to try to do that to me too 
Uh, but, uh, you know, now, you know, that's, it is just a part of how, who he is. Don't worry about it. Callus ignores him pointedly also, like, and is fuming, like, just <laughs> fuming. Uh, uh and, looks at Clyde and he points at the teapot and he like shrugs. He's like, eh? And then he points at, points at him and a cup and the teapot and back at him. <laughs> Clyde, like looks at you like narrowed eyes and then he says uh gee i sure am like um i mean i could go for some tea or whatever and then he like looks up at you like raises his eyebrows yeah yeah and he pours a he pours a cup of tea for for clyde and slides it across the table to him oh jibeto won't you have some tea with me or whatever if, would you like to join me oh sure clyde wow thanks he pours Kev, a cup of tea for you and Kev, slides it to you. Kev, I'm... Huh. First of all, I think I need a cup of tea. Second of all... <laughs> yeah. I, did you... Did Clyde just... Did... Did you... Ooh. Did you better <laughs> Clyde just have, like, a thing? I think they're just sharing tea like old times. It was... Felt so much more loaded than that. I don't know. <laughs> I think that, uh... It just... Everyone's here. Everyone looks great, and that's all that matters. <laughs> uh, just... I'm gonna go get a coffee. <laughs> Umen puts it back down, uh, and just Clyde. Looks at... <laughs> yeah, like... Clyde. Very quietly, uh, he like leans into you, and he's like, "Thank you for that. I uh, uh, needed to try and get one up on her right now as soon as I can. You know what I'm saying?" <laughs> Jennifer is in the kitchen making coffee. She doesn't really know how, but she's doing it. From down the stairs, Asher comes your sister. Ah. Uh. Um she is making very slowly down the steps. Uh because she's old. And because she's very old. <laughs> uh and looks old. But for uh, a druid to to look as old as she looks, she's real old. Um she makes her way down the steps uh, and moves into the room um, and she sees you and she gives you a hard stare and then sits. I walk over to her and I say, uh, I owe you about. I want to say I owe you one, but I think I owe you, like, at least ten. If not twenty. She doesn't say anything for a minute. It, it's weirdly nice to see you, considering you were trying to kill me and then didn't, and then saved me. And Look, can can it just be water under the bridge? I'm just tired of... I'm just tired. For a long time, I have made it my purpose to hunt people like you. To stop this very thing that has happened. And it turns out that it didn't matter. And that it was not only did it happen regardless, but if I had had my way, I would have killed my own brother, one of the few people able to stop it. I just I just wish I remembered growing up with you. That does not matter. It does to me. That life is gone for me. It is long, long dead. Time. Time for you is missing. Time for me has ground on and on. 
because I believed that what I was doing was more important than letting myself go. And indeed, there is still something more important. But to know that for the, all these years, the oath we swore to the Tezcatlipoca to follow through on this path has been misguided. I don't... I don't know that any amount of helping can atone for what we've done. No more apologies. I'm just really glad to see you. And I am glad to see you. Do you want some tea? She looks down at the tea. She says, it's no. Good, but everyone's drinking it. I don't need her drink. I can get you some cactus <laughs> juice. Oh, oh no, right. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. I don't. I don't do that anymore. Heard that. Cats <laughs> in uh, uh, two two cactus shots in. <laughs> uh, Asher takes a seat next to his sister. Uh, the portal flashes, and Horton makes his way through. Asher immediately stands uh, up. Hey! <laughs> Horton does a small bow, like a, a small bow, uh, and he says. Uh, he says himself, uh, presenting the King of Bradmont, Horton. And he bows, and then he uh, goes God, and takes a seat. We made some mistakes along the way, huh, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone drunk? Did he Quite just sh- say... Wait, did he just say the King of Bradmont? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> oh, wait, did, wait, wait he nobody didn't. questioned it. <laughs> Geppetto, like, spit yeah. No, yeah, like I did. <laughs> he didn't. Uh, Clyde says, no, you must have misheard it. Uh, it's Emberfall. <laughs> or whatever. Or whatever. I don't know. I, I think I heard Brad Mike. It's There's no way to prove it. <laughs> I wasn't I mean, paying that close attention. T- to be fair. I guess you're right. Emberfall did attack Brad Mott real <laughs> soon before mm. he took hold so oh. hopefully that hopefully that was reversed we didn't quite hold him to that but we had more important things <laughs> <laughs> and it worked hey uh Horton I just gotta say man I expected you to fuck this up <laughs> and you didn't and Gebetto raises his teacup uh and- uh, Horton, uh, reaches in, uh, from, to his, like, he's got a long coat that's just, like, crushed velvet, uh, and just, like, many layers, uh, and he reaches in and pulls out a goblet that's already full, <laughs> uh, and he nods to you and slugs that back. <laughs> you know what I mean, though, Clyde? Like, I really... Yeah, uh... Okay, if if sure, I mean, this is definitely an upgrade. Uh, remains to be seen how much of one. You know what I mean? I mean, he didn't he didn't screw us over and kill the whole world. So uh, I'm taking a win when I can get one, bud. Okay, good. Let's let's take the win. Let's take the win, I guess, or you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also in through the portal comes, uh, <laughs> there we go. Also in through the portal comes Torek alongside, like just behind Horton. Gebetto eyes Keth and then eyes Torek and then eyes Keth and then eyes Torek and then eyes Keth wiggles his eyebrows. Torek takes like, he goes to a corner of the room and just stands in the corner looking out over the room. Yeah. Keth like sighs and gets up 
I was like, <sighs> and it goes to talk to Torek. They share oh. a bond, you know, Clyde. Is it because of like, because um, of Gillick? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and Gepetto takes another sip of tea. <laughs> hey, Torek. Oh, hello. Hey, it's good to see you. Oh, uh, good to see you too. Yeah. Hey, um, notice. I know this might sound weird, but n- notice anything different about me? Um, Kath like holds out his arms did, uh, wide, and did you? Uh... Did you get a haircut? I, it, yeah, yeah, but but no, no. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yes. So, uh, what happens when? Oh, I know. You're not wearing armor anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody seemed to comment on that. I thought that was weird, but uh, yeah, I'm not wearing <laughs> armor, and it's it's a, it's a whole thing, monk, and um, also immortal. Hey. I don't age. Me, me yeah, too. right, right. Yeah, me too. That, that's funny. You, uh, you know, co- your comment about us having stuff in common. Uh, ah! <laughs> I wanted to talk to you oh about uh, Evian. Um, she was one of y'all, right? Uh. <laughs> Yes. Uh, if by one of y'all, I assume you mean a vampire. Right. Yes. Uh, she would be what you might call um, like a brood sister to me. Okay. Can you tell when someone's a vampire if you just look at them and look at their haircut or uh, the armor, their lack of armor? Can you tell? Uh, no. Okay. I I wouldn't say that you like just by appearances. That's sort of one of the benefits of being a vampire. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you're a skeleton, uh, everyone can tell you're a skeleton pretty much right off. Oh right. Uh, but but being a vampire, you know, you can you can just be a vampire, uh, and nobody okay. knows. Okay, I guess that's good. That's good information. And every time he, Keth has asked him a question or made a comment, he's like had his teeth b- bared and like in a weird smile. Yeah, he hasn't okay. noticed at all. <laughs> so, um, I don't. Evian, uh, kind of so drank my blood and did something to me. Do, have you ever heard of? Well, okay, that seems. Seems personal. Yeah, <laughs> but like not. So, how do you? Why do you keep doing that? What? I, I, oh, you keep showing you your no, teeth. Like, do I, you I, notice? I, you noticed something about my teeth? You're just like I, you're just like grimacing oh. at me. No, so, how, I I I think I might be a vampire, or, or maybe not, because I don't think I can, I can't turn into mist. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, well, did you, did she bury you? Did she feed you her blood? No, 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 she didn't do that. Well, why do you think you're a vampire? I, I need to feed. Are you dead? I don't think so. I I mean, I was earlier, Asher actually killed me, but it's different. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You're definitely not dead. Okay. All this is very useful information. Thank you, Torek. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I, I think you're not dead, uh, and you didn't do the ritual. Yeah. So, yeah, she t- I mean, I, I get it. I'm not in the club. I, okay, great. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you. Um, so, <sighs> well, what, what? Why do you ask me this? I. I have this need uh, <laughs> for to speed <laughs> <laughs> to feed. I couldn't, I couldn't get it out. Need to feed to <laughs> underground. <laughs> On more need, more feedier. <laughs> to need to to feed. <laughs> 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 it 
the fate of the need. <laughs> I, I have this need now to... <laughs> Doric, I I need to drink blood, and that's weird. So what? Why do I need to drink blood now? Like what? What happened? Need to or want to? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to, Doric. I don't. I really don't. It's really gross, and I have to. I want to. I want to eat people like in this room. He nods. <laughs> but I don't. I don't want that. I you. you I I get it. No, I know. Oh. No, I get it. Uh, really? No, I understand. I, yeah. I, I've been eating animals, and they're Ugh. they're not enough. Like I, it, it's enough to keep me alive. I can tell, but it's just not enough. How yeah. do I? I no, it won't be. What do I do? Um, I I recommend. Finding people who have no families, uh, uh, no loved ones. Um, Doric! I, I don't, that's, what? like, that's not what I mean. I mean, what do I do instead of all of that? Like, can, can I get rid of this? I, I don't know what you are. You can't pass I'm, a... I can tell you're not a vampire. Yeah. Is there... But... I don't know. Like, is there somewhere I can go? Like, to, 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 uh, like, <clears throat> for people like me? Uh, I'm, I should, I am one of these things, but I don't know much about what we are. I've only been a vampire a short time. Yeah. Um, and, what we are wasn't really accessible to me. Uh, I had one goal and you did it. So that's, there's that. Right. Okay. Yeah. I didn't really think about your circumstances. How have you been? I thought that I was going to be empty, but it's actually been great. Oh. Uh, knowing now that I was right, and not only was I right, but it isn't a problem anymore. It's gone. This darkness on the throne is gone my my home is well we've got him but yeah i mean in the long run it'll be better off it's got to be yeah yeah no i i i agree i and a lot was a lot of it was thanks to you so i you know yeah congratulations so now i'm searching for i'm searching for my father Okay. And after all of this shadow stuff uh, is solved, hopefully, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll help you. Um, okay. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, I guess we have to, a, lo a lot to hash out here. So thanks for, thanks for talking. Uh, so uh, more of the people who are attending this meeting arrive. Um, uh, at one point, uh, through the regular doorway comes uh, Marifa and Jacques. Uh, and Marifa takes off the bird head, and it is Hallie uh, underneath. And she sees the group... Um, Jacques leans into her and is like whispering something. She whispers back to him. And then he like gives her a hard look and she comes over to the group, the four of you. <clears throat> she says, I, I owe you an apology. Oh, 
when I came here, I was I was focused, singularly focused. And it turns out that you were right, that while Gorm was a threat, there was something bigger lurking. And I am sorry for the way that I behaved, for the way that I treated your assertion. You've been out there for three days. What have you learned? They've kept us cooped up in here. We haven't been able to do anything. Well, I think it's probably best we discuss this all together, but so far what I know is that the Avatar of Shadow has an immense amount of power. It is not Gorm anymore. It is just Shadow. The creatures of shadow have been popping up all over this world. And some kill. Some change others to be like them. Twisting people. And those more susceptible to shadow have started to fall as well. It's grim. I wish that there were an easy answer, but our kingdom soldiers fight. Many die. Many change. And the shadow seems unending. But our people stand. Your people. Hey, kid. You're here now. Uh, and unless we figure something out, you're here through the end of it. They're your people, too. I can... I have always been gifted in touching divination. It has always been my area of expertise. And so I know that when you say that, you are not wrong. I am here now. Not that I am certain there is a place to go back to anyway. But even if there is, Not from here. Well, I mean, maybe when we're done, uh, you know, we can put reopening for business uh, on the uh, on the to do list, right, Genevera? Yep. Genevera sips her coffee, which is. <laughs> coffee beans in a tea bag in hot water. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even grind it? <laughs> no. You would just put tea leaves in a tea bag, so why would you? Gibetto smells the, the coffee, uh, like, from where he's standing. Hot water? <laughs> coffee. No, I mean, is that hot water? It with is, that coffee, it is it is hot liquid water mm. with coffee in it, and she <laughs> dips the tea bag up and down a couple times. <laughs> this needs to steep a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not sure I did it right, but <laughs> it's helping. Like she uh, she probably grabbed a tea bag, opened a tea bag, emptied it out. Put coffee beans in it. <laughs> Close yeah. the tea bag. Like, hoped it. There's probably beans falling out of it because it's not like yeah. stapled back. It's uh, fine. Hallie puts on the Marifa mask and. Uh, um, 
here that mass carries a lot of memories um before redbridge comes back you might clear it with her <laughs> she she gave me this she told me that she, she believed he would he would want me to be doing this again it's hard because i know how we lost him on our world and the impact that that had and to see it again feels like this is the best tribute that I can give him. All right. As, as long as she knows, uh, I just, she's not doing great. She is strong. She will pull through. But you are right. It's at this point that Asher realizes this entire time he's been expecting Elatrix to walk through that portal. He just has been expecting Elatrix this entire time. And he doesn't feel great anymore. Not that he felt all that great before. <laughs> <clears throat> Everyone has arrived. Everyone has arrived. The table, uh, everyone's taking places around the table. Um, Redbridge comes in and she says, she uh, takes a place as well. She looks around the table and everyone is just silent for a few minutes while, uh, no one's really sure how to start or who to begin with. Genevera stands up and she says, hey, everyone, um, thank you for being here with us. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot of things to say. We have a lot of things to decide. Um, but before we begin, I want us to remember that the voices of those we've lost can stay with us through this if we let them. Um, and she puts Gillick's flask up on the table and she says, Gillick, Elatrix, Evian, and Viltroth are very recent and very real losses that we're carrying with us tonight. But a good friend told me that this world needs a chance to live and losing them has given us the chance to help it along. And if we could all just take a minute to remember them and hold them with us, then I think we can all move forward giving it that chance. After a moment, Clyde stands up. He says, There has been a great power uh, woken up here, or whatever. Something, something needs to be done about this avatar of shadow. My people have been fighting as have all of the kings here in attendance. But we need to do more to make a concerted push against this 
I don't know what others have seen or have heard, but if my scouts are correct, there seems to be like a never-ending wave of shadow coming from this creature. It looms large in the skies over my lands. My people are dying. Your people are dying. And until we can figure out a way to, like, stop it, or whatever, we don't, we can't stand up against this forever. There has to be another way. Clad, has there been any kind of advancements in your knowledge by fighting these creatures, uh, learning something about them, that a, a weakness, a, a way to stave off the, the, the shadow that they inflict upon people? They move unrelenting. When you kill one, you can cut one down. It will die. It will dissipate. But like... If you stab it and it doesn't die, it doesn't flinch, it doesn't stop. It just like keep coming or whatever. But no, the answer is no. We have not found a way to stop the power that they use. It is not like magic we have seen before. And as I'm sure all of you know, as our touch with some magics have fallen away, transmutation being what it is, we have lost some ability to try and, and understand you know, what we're dealing with. I know they've been popping up all over the the world but does it seem like they're coming directly from the avatar Kaelith uh, says from the research that I have been able to gather upon these uh, creatures as I have been observing patterns it is like there is a pulse that originates in Carapath. And that pulse, as it reaches out, the creatures of shadow sprout behind that pulse. So from the point of these creatures stepping forth, these pulses come at irregular intervals. But when a pulse happens, the creatures spring up in Carapath, then in Bradmont, Varina, Emberfall and Paraneth, Ishtara. It is like a wave that crests and falls away from its center point. Like ripples. Has anyone discovered the source of this? Is it our compound? Adventure Incorporated? There is no way to, uh, to trace uh, a direct line, but if I were to guess, I would say that as the shadow avatar looms high above the ruins of what was Maghamara, yes. Well, we know where we have to go. Gibetto looks at Patrick and... Uh, the magic man um, and says y'all might be the only people the only uh, the only ones here who have any experience with this thing uh 
how'd it go in the Shadow War? Patrick looks at you with no joy in his eyes. And he says, We have entered a space where I cannot help you anymore. My bargain, as it was, has been fulfilled. And no matter what I might choose or want, I am bound. My ability to help you is no more. And then he turns directly to the magic man. The magic man looks back at him like horror stricken. Uh, And then you see realization cross the magic man's face. He stands up. And he looks around the room. And he closes his eyes. And from his back, scrolls begin to just push off of his back outward. Six scrolls just like unfurl from his back like wings behind him. And he transforms uh, into a form similar to one you have seen from him before, but he is not blue like an angel of Salius is. Despite the wings, his skin is gray. And his voice booms out. For your people, the shadow war was generations ago. For me, the shadow war was the eve of my birth. We were created as instruments to fight the shadow. We were created to stand with humanity, to stand with the greater races, to strike against the darkness. The Shadow War was a nightmare. I watched the people of this world nearly pushed to the brink of extinction. I watched brothers and sisters die. Those of us created for this task and those who were far older. I watched our masters take the field on the material plane to push the shadow back. And I watched what was in no uncertain terms, abject failure. We bought time, but that is all we bought. And that bill comes due now. We face the shadow now because we failed to stop the shadow now. How'd you buy time? That is a question that the Fae can answer better than any. But it was their sacrifice that sealed the Shadow away. The Fae, in truth, did more than our people ever did to stop the Shadow. Something... Something not only do I not admit lightly, but something I could never admit before. They put Herix to sleep when he fell to the darkness. They sealed the gates of shadow on this land. 
and destroyed the connection. It had the material plane. They locked themselves away to act as a buffer. And they waged the Shadow War for years without us. And it is clear it has taken its toll upon them. And it has destroyed their home. Now we face the shadow come again. And we have a version of the Fae. But they are not the Fae that we remember from the Shadow War. When you say the Gates of Shadow, are they physical? Can we go to them? It is like the Ley Lines. It is the gateway from this to the Realm of Shadow. So you have been there. So this is, but this is more than that. This being, the Shadow Lord, has found a way to make his way back to the material plane. It is not through the gates of Shadow as it once was. His touch upon this world comes through other means. But he now has bound himself to this avatar. He fills it with his power. That is why you cannot simply walk out there and fight this avatar of shadow. Its power is linked to the shadow world. But if we take this down, Will it take him down too? It is a vessel he has filled with some of his power. It is linked to him, and he could fill it with more. But he could just as easily sever that link. So that's what we gotta find then, before we even face it. So how do we sever that link? Because Shadow destroys it doesn't destroy it just overwrites right so it's not actually ever destroying something it's just changing its nature to shadow there's no possible way we could change its nature back right would that sever the connection if we were to undo the connection to Sha like change him back to Gorm Tintreach, then kill him. If that can be done, then that would be valuable. <laughs> Vaisong, is there a positive side to Shadow? We have used Shadow for years to fight creatures of darkness. If there is a benefit to shadow, it is that it does not discriminate in its destruction. There is no inherent will to the magic that is shadow. Shadow is a tool just as there is no inherent will to magic that is celestial or magic that is fey. There are those who bend it, who choose to use it for a purpose, just as the Shadow Lord does. But the magic itself has no feeling. It has no personality simply does what it does. I just wonder if there's a way that 
we can somehow use this avatar of shadow in the same in the same way we combined fey and celestial and shadow before that we could turn this this avatar into a tool for changing everyone or back destroying itself if we can overwrite shadow to overwrite itself infinitely until it just destroys itself but you speak of a nature of magic of which I am not. Or look, I, mean, it's... I am not overly familiar with the concept of transformation in this way. When we closed transmutation we came back with shadow. That has to be a clue, right? Like that. If we Did go. Did you do things differently than you? Uh, this is uh, Kaelith says you came back with a piece of magic that was not of like it was in the other places. Correct. Yeah, we came. Did you do things differently? We did. Well, we, we were Gillick, Gillick carried it, but that was. I mean, Gillick as Asher. Yeah, did the serum, did the ritual to bring the piece, a piece of magic from that plane to our plane. So, and Gillick was pretty heavily involved with Shadow. When we entered, normally we are in our own bodies, but obviously because it's transmutation, that we transmuted into each other. It just every every. Leyline had its own quirk, and that was its particular quirk. Uh, but, like, we did... We followed all the same processes and all the same steps. Well, without him here to ask, I don't know if the two are correlated or not. In, in truth, I would imagine that a piece of transmutation would re uh, perhaps look a lot more like a piece of fey magic than it would shadow. Well, yeah, I mean, this w definitely came back as just pure shadow, so that's not like a looks-like thing. Uh, it is yeah. like a is I, and I pull it out thing. Vaisong uh, steps forward toward it. He says, "This, this is a very full orb of shadow." Uh huh. And it's, I'm trying my best to fend it off. <laughs> he pulls out his own orb of shadow. Uh, a similarly sized glass orb with less than an eighth of an inch of black fluidy miasma at the bottom. The rest is a clear, empty orb. That is a less full orb of shadow. This orb of shadow has been in the world since before the gates of shadow closed. So you're saying like a little shadow goes a really long way. And what we have here is an immense amount. It is also important to remember that a little shadow goes a long way because there have been very few who have chosen to wield it oh. over the last 2,000 years. But there is something else. This feels like shadow to me. Pure, pure shadow. What you hold is an orb of shadow. It gives off shadow magic. But it has been made shadow. In the way that shadow does. 
it was not always shadow, but it was overwritten. So do you think there's a connection to that ley line? If what I know of your friend is true, my guess is that he was too touched by Shadow to do what Asher would have done. Ugh. All right, well, uh, that was my idea. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's still a good idea because, what, fey magic requires a purpose and shadow magic just overwrites. We could give shadow magic the purpose to kill it itself. That would be sweet. Um, well, my, my idea was just to cut off the avatar from its source of power. Um, right. Sorry, I miss. Yeah. To what? But by what means? I mean, we've closed a bunch of ley lines. Uh, it, we it's we cut power. off magic all over the place. Its power is the Shadow Lord. It is a direct connection to the Shadow Lord that grant, grants its power. <laughs> but it's getting right. It's getting here somehow. It's got a. Right, it's got to travel to this plane. It is through that creature's opening of itself to shadow. He has accepted the shadow in. It does not come from a ley line. It comes directly to him. From wherever the shadow lord is. I was really... The Shadow Lord has found a way to be outside one of these planes of magic. Do we know enough about the only? Do we know enough about the ruins at Adventure Inc. to know that there isn't something there that's also? Uh, I want there to be something there that we can just smash. And then yeah. that would just solve all of our problems. Does that, has anybody seen something like that? <laughs> In case of shadow <laughs> break glass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Clug says, sorry, buddy. Uh, I've been over there a couple of times. And uh, t- nice thing about being a ghost, turns out, I apparently am not affected by shadow. That's actually kind of useful, probably. Yeah, uh, nothing to smash that I saw, though. Sorry, buddy. (sighs) Thanks, Clug. You got it. The only thing I know outside of the ley lines of magic, like outside of ley lines connected to the world, is the Celestial. Hey, Gibetto. Yeah. Do you think and I don't know if if this is too much to ask. You just let me know. But anytime somebody starts with that, uh <laughs> Oh boy. Do you think it'd be possible for you to like snag a chat with Caliesto? Yeah, sure. Let me just call her up. No, that's what I'm... I didn't... I wasn't trying to... I just since We have Celestial, and we have Fae, and we have Shadow. If we... You've talked to the most gods. What? Uh, Gebetto, you've talked to the most gods. Right, but... You told us... Caliesto is something more than that. Yeah, we learned that... Together with Salius... In the, like, oh. Yeah. I mean, if she's open to talk, uh, 
I just that'd be great. Um. Uh, the magic man speaks again. He says, I have been away from my people for only a short time. And I can assure you now, this change has set in motion plans that have been in place for a long, long time. There will be a deliberation amongst the gods. One that will, as I'm sure would be corroborated, if it could be, by the other in this room who knows, will undoubtedly end in a stalemate. This world is your world. And your well-being is at risk. There is something that we could do to make sure your voice is heard in this matter. Yeah. How but do... I think it will be dangerous. How do we get a seat at the deliberation? He turns to look at Patrick. Then he turns to look at all of you. He says... I no longer have a connection that can get you a seat at the table. And Patrick no longer has the ability to allow for such a thing. For he is bound by an ancient pact that he alone can break. If you want to see at the table, then the pact must end. Hey everyone, just a couple quick reminders. If you like the show, don't forget to tell your friends. And you can head over to patreon.com slash adventureinc and become a patron as well. You can also head to our website, adventureinkpod.com, for links to our social media and the store where you can find t-shirts, stickers, and more. That's all. We'll see you next week. Okay. <clears throat> I'm on board. I know where we're at now. Okay. <clears throat> so you're going to say the words? <laughs> Which words, Mike? Let's get farted. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Honestly, same. <laughs> All right, I'm I back. I my Sunday's back. Uh... <laughs> uh, no, let's have a real deep, serious talk right now. It's going to be real sad. <laughs> hey, guys. Anyways. So, uh, I'm real sad about something. Died. Uh... <laughs> it's farts. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Serious business. <laughs>